Hi guys, Andy here. I have here, it's actually my brother's Nexus S, um, but he said I can have it to hack about with, so I figured currently it's on ice cream sandwich 4.12, and it tells me your system is up to date. Well, that's not good enough for me, obviously. I want KitKat on this bad boy. So, um, this is what we're starting with. It's unrooted, it's got regular recovery, so I thought I'd take you through the whole process from beginning to end, how you're going to put KitKat, um, in this case probably Cyanogen Mod 11, I think, if it works, onto a Galaxy Nexus S. So I'm going to start off downloading the custom recovery. I get this from ROM Manager. Go to clockworkmod.com slash ROM Manager. And then we're going to scroll down and find, hopefully there we go, I've got it highlighted. Look, the Nexus S. We've got the non-touch and the touch version. It doesn't particularly matter. Go for whichever, whichever you fancy, really. You'll notice it says .img file. I've already downloaded it. If you don't already have it, make sure you get the Android SDK software developer kit from developer.android.com slash sdk slash index.html and then it's just say, look, download the SDK uh, and get that installed on your computer. That should have all the latest drivers to, to let us connect to the phone. Let's take my USB cable and plug it in at the bottom there. Now, let's have a look. We, had, we have a developer options already. If you don't, you go in and you tap, I'm sure it's build number, a number of times and it will turn on the developer options which are just here. In fact they're not actually turned on, let's turn them on. Gives a bit of a warning, yeah that's fine. Then we turn on USB debugging, gives another bit of a warning, yeah that's fine. in the bar there, USB connected, USB debugging connected. You'll hopefully see this on your screen. So browse yourself to wherever the software developer kit has installed it, here we go, SDK look, and then you want platform tools, then hold down shift and right click and select open command window here. Now you should notice adb.exe is in that folder and we're going to check first of all adb space devices it's got our device listed because we're still we are still connected make sure you are then I'm going to adb reboot bootloader and it should There we go, so we're now into the bootloader and again we get the installing device driver software in the corner. Or of course, we get, it didn't work. So here's our unknown device, update, it's going to let me pick Android device, Google, let's go Samsung, Samsung Android because it's a Samsung phone. Now, We should when we type fast boot devices, there it is. Okay, so now we're going to need the image file that you downloaded. I'm going to go with the the touch one, and it should be a .img. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it into the same folder that has the ADB and the fast boot exe files. So there it is. Let's see that. Now we're going back to to our command prompt again. If you need to shift, right click, and open command prompt here. Check it's reading it. Fast boot. No, sorry. Fast boot OEM unlock. On the device itself, we then get a not bootloader. Yes, no. We use the volume volume to move to yes and the power to select it lock state unlocked 
Okay. So then, fast boot, flash recovery. And that's now flashed the custom recovery. Now I'm still connected, but at this point you don't need to be. We're going to go down and select recovery with the power button. And hopefully, there we go, clockwork mod. So that's the first step achieved. We've got a custom recovery on the device. Uh, well, the bootloader's unlocked and we have a custom recovery on the device. Now we've just got to drop the two files on there, in theory, hopefully. We've just got to drop the two files on there that we need, which will be the ROM itself and uh, G apps, the Google apps. A lot of the bigger ROMs these days, especially like Clockwork Mod, they're not allowed to include Google's apps. Um, so you have to install them both separately. So I'm going to get the file itself from XDA developers. It's the unofficial ROM 4.4. The 22nd November, so I'm doing at 11 for Samsung Nexus S. So I'm going to download the actual 22nd of 11. Then I'm going to need G apps, the Google apps separately, and I'll leave uh, I'll leave download links. Oh, not that one. I need 4.4. I'll leave download links in the. Uh, in the description of the video, so you can just go and click them down there. Okay. Seems to be proving harder than it should to get these files onto the Nexus S. I plug it in through the USB and it doesn't seem to work, so I'm going for AirDroid. And I'm actually trying to go into system. What's in mount, I wonder? Hmm. SD card download. I'm going to drop in so it's Google Apps I need. That's working now. See, I tried to put it into the SD card direct, it wasn't transferring anything. And then I need obviously the actual ROM itself. That's downloading pretty quick, I should be there in just a couple of minutes. Right, they've finished downloading now, so I'm going to disconnect. Mm. Now, power off. Now I thought power and volume down would get me into the, the recovery, but it kept booting up. Uh, in which case I just rip the back off, pull the battery out and try again. But So I'm going to do volume up and power. We'll go back into the, the bootloader. And then we'll come down and select recovery from there. Interesting. So really quickly I'll just flash the recovery again. Let's see what uh, see if it works now. I would hope so. I'm not quite sure why it would have anything would have corrupted the recovery or wiped the recovery off. There we go. So now let's hope. Install zip. I don't remember where I put it download. So there we go. Shouldn't take long. There we go, installation SD card complete. Um, we need to do the same again for the G apps file. So what I'm gonna do finally because it is a you know it's a fresh install, there's no harm in just wiping data and wiping cache. It's often a good idea when flashing ROMs to do so if you can. And then let's hope 
should be it. We should be on Android 4.4 KitKat. Cross his fingers. There's the CyanogenMod logo, it's a good start, it's a promising sign. It might take a little while this first boot, so uh, I'll come back to you in a moment. Here we go, so the time on my camera tells me that took about three and a half minutes. Setup is complete. Welcome. There we go, next assess, running 4.4. So, hopefully this will be some use to some of you owners of the Nexus S. It's a little outdated phone, but hey, if you can get 4.4 on there, why on earth not? Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. My name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.